So you wanna make money fast programming with Python? You reached the right video, let me explain. This video was brought to you by Diginic Academy, your number one source to learn how to make money programming and get that six figure salary you desire. Our academy have a wide range of courses, including 3K in 30 days, our mentorship membership program, and much, much more. When you sign up for our free community, you get access to our membership community with like-minded professional who's going to help take your career to the next level. So let's take the first step to get started and really take your career to the next level with our seven step money guide today. So let's go ahead and click the link below to sign up for our free seven step guide to help you get your career started today. So guys, let me put give you a story to put things in context when you're trying to make money online uh, with programming. And uh, I'm going to tell you a story about the Apple App Store. Yes, that's right, the Apple App Store. And uh, before I get into this story, you guys are going to hear sirens or sirens in the background or beeping. Um, show must go on and um, I'll make sure I can reduce that as much as possible. But the story I'm going to tell you about guys is my first experience programming or developing apps in the app store. Just like any other programmer wants to start creating apps, wants to start making money and become the next Steve Jobs or uh, the next uh, Elon Musk or uh, uh, build the next Facebook app. So I decided the app, Apple app store is going to be that way I do it. So just like anything else, you go on there, you got some ideas, is you kind of see you kind of get started programming and life is good you're happy everything's going good you're gonna have some bumps in the road but once I get this app up on the App Store millions of people is gonna buy it and I am going to be successful at least that's what my plan was well long story short that wasn't the case guys it was a bloodbath <laughs> And what I say bloodbath is uh, my app got denied. Um, it was not an original idea and it didn't make any money. And even after I got it on there, it, it was not successful. But it was just like any other basic calculator apps and basic apps that you do from a training standpoint. You just thinking you're to do a, a spin off of just a basic app and Apple is not allowing that guys. The Apple App Store is saturated with developers who got ideas that every other developer that had those ideas. Long story short guys, you have to come up with unique ideas to solve unique problems. That's the major problem about Python. You're gonna have to come up with new ideas. Python thrives on new AI development. If you're coming in with that same mindset, of, I'm just gonna recreate what's out there and expect people to jump on the Python bandwagon, that's not the case, guys. You're not gonna make any money that way. And the, the problem with that is, guys, is Python is not the easiest language to make money in. If you're just talking about starting today, making money, because a lot of you guys haven't built the project or experience or have a resume to be able to demand the type of projects that's gonna allow you to leverage your Python skills, your Python programming skills. If you're just starting off with PHP, WordPress development, some of the lower end projects, you can start making money today. Python, not so much. Um, it's gonna require you to have a knowledge in machine learning, AI, data science. A lot of these companies are not going to hire somebody with no experience. That's just point blank, guys. So you have to be mindful of that. Not to say you can't leverage your Python skills to start making money, just know when to use Python specifically as a programming language. You can leverage PHP with a lot of the Python programming language you learn, guys, and start to make a ton of money in that whole WordPress ecosystem. PHP PHP has a ton of infrastructure online for a lot of the open source community. You use that Lambda stack, you are have something, guys. A lot of people, it's in demand, it's easy to learn, you can make money quick, and the risks are low for certain projects, and then you can work your way up to the bigger projects. We want to apply this same logic to Python. Not that you're gonna be actually building those particular projects in Python programming language. You can still leverage PHP and be primarily 
really prefer Python, but it all comes down to the customers or the client technology stack, their software stack. What do they use, guys? What programming languages they use internally as for their core systems? You do not want to make a one-off program using Python just because that's what you know at the expense of the client having to maintain multiple programming language. We don't want to do that, guys. We don't want to be that programmer or that developer who does that, adding more problems to on their plate to manage. That's not a good strategy to go by. And guys, that's why I'm telling you guys, even as a Python developer, you can make money using those skills and leveraging them in other areas like PHP and C Sharp too and Java. But I would say today, as a beginner, PHP is the easiest way to make money. I think you can leverage a lot of your Python skills in that PHP ecosystem and still make money just as easy. It's only until you start to get into Java's and the uh, C Sharps and the C programming language is where the skill sets really got to be up here because you're working on larger enterprise level uh, application guys. So you got to be aware of that and make sure um, as a developer, you know what use cases to go by. I made some notes here so I don't get too off track, but I want to make sure I cover this from a lot of different perspectives so I can answer any of you guys' questions. Number two, guys, AI and machine learning, yes, it's sexy in our standpoint because we can create these algorithms and do all these nice, sexy projects. But the truth of the matter is the company who need this stuff, those projects are not going to be sexy, guys. A lot of healthcare facilities, a lot of um, consulting firms. Yeah, the neuroscience stuff is, is cool at the surface, but there's a lot of detail pro programs and projects out there that's going to require you to deal with a lot of data. It's going to be really boring, guys. This is the type of stuff that PHP, or not PHP, but Python is actually needed for, guys. A lot of uh, healthcare facilities has a ton of data. I'm talking about tons and tons and terabytes of data that humans cannot comb through, and machines got to be able to comb through and make sense, find the trends, be able to plot these models out and create or develop or suggest solutions based off of all this data some of it structured a lot of it unstructured guys this is the type of stuff that you're gonna thrive at with ph or with python <laughs> but at the end of the day guys you coming in with this basic knowledge talking about i'm gonna build the next calculator app the next facebook with python and think that's gonna win maybe in the future but i'm looking at demand right now guys i'm always in 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 the weeds when it comes to making money programming what industries need what programming language which software stacks where is the money for the average person, you know, I'm not talking about Silicon Valley startups who make these big apps and blow up overnight. I'm talking about for the average developer, me and you, how we make money day to day. And we're going to put ourselves in a position to make way more money than the average person. So, guys, that's what I'm talking about here today. And uh, if you haven't already, sign up for my seven step guide below as you guys already saw. I wanna make sure you sign up for that. We kinda get into some of the details of what programming language and what skill sets is right for you. And this is a good way to identify, depending on what your goals are, where you live, where you wanna work, and how serious you are about programming. This is the kind of stuff that's gonna really put things in perspective and put you on the next level to success, to that six figure income, guys. So, as I stated, the AI, it's very important to learn and know what industry like it or need it and just kind of know the expectations coming in. You can still make money as a contractor with your Python skills at a lot of these companies, guys. You just got to know how to present yourself coming in so that your resume sticks out. Um, P, uh, <laughs> Python. <laughs> Python thrives in new implementations, guys. When you start to get into that cutting edge technology, start to get into that innovation, and even that from a training standpoint, Python is easy to learn. That's what the applications, the projects you need to be looking for. What industries needing this? Neuroscience, all these different new technologies, blockchain technology that you got combed through thousands and thousands of uh, petabytes of data and got to create some kind of solution without people being involved for the most part. 
this is where you need to be thinking about. And the only way you're going to know where to think is to work at these companies. Start working on smaller projects and then get to the point where you have a better in-depth knowledge. I call this domain knowledge that's going to allow you to see the problems that nobody else is aware of. And this is the type of stuff that you start making money at that stands apart from all the other developers. And you're going to be that lead P uh, Python developer that's going to allow you to be successful. So let's go ahead and get that guy. So I'm not going to beat that topic with a dead horse. I think that's enough. If you guys, do you guys agree with me? Comment below. Do you disagree agree with me? Comment below too, guys. Um, a lot of you guys want to start making money with Python. This is the way to go. And this is the way to put things in perspective, guys. You are not going to make money with Python working on legacy projects. People hate change and they want to use existing infrastructure and programming language, not only because it's um, easier, because there's a whole bunch of uh, documentation and other uh, suppliers who actually provide assistance with their existing stack. So you wanna focus on the new stuff, the innovative stuff. So guys, like subscribe to the content if you have any questions comment below go ahead and sign up for my seven step money guide guys i'm gonna put a link here and i'll see you guys in the next video peace